Welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. I'm Captain Sean Gray from Cobb County Fire Department. Today we're going to talk about fast water on tank water versus laying in a supply line. As you can see, the engines are placed in the exact same starting position. Supply line in the top left, tank water in the bottom right. Many fire departments across the nation have used the forward lay as a first due engine water supply tactic for years. Our predecessors have preached water supply as a top priority, and it still remains a priority. However, we also know that fast water is a top priority. What is fast water? Simply defined, it's getting water onto the fire as quickly as possible from whichever position. And I believe that most of us would agree that it should be one of our top priorities, secondary only to victim rescue. If we are solely focused on the time it takes to get water on the fire, how could we even consider stopping and catching a hydrant as the first due engine? Yes, I know many will say that they can do it faster than others and there really isn't a delay. But that doesn't fall in line with the argument against transitional attack. The argument is that we are delaying interior fire attack by resetting a fire from the exterior for 15 seconds. But aren't we doing the same thing by performing a forward lay? And a forward lay takes much longer than 15 seconds. Research has shown that it takes less than 100 gallons total to extinguish a room of contents fire. When our engines have progressed to larger size water tanks from 500 to 750 gallon tanks. None of us ever want to run out of water, but I believe it's better to apply water as quickly as possible while the fire is smaller. Stopping for a forward lay takes time and has multiple steps. Stop, flush the hydrant, wrap the hydrant, and then drop the supply hose in a forward lay. This all takes time, and as you can see here, is a significant delay. Today you got to see a comparison of fast water on tank water versus laying in a supply line. I'm Sean Gray and this is Fire Engineering Training Minutes. <laughs>